All right, welcome to my Clark Kent and Superman Shadow version gameplay and review. So today is actually the first day you can unlock them. You need to complete 84 purple quests or epic quests. And obviously you get all the accessories too, the cape, the back bling, the pickaxe, and of course the Superman version as well. Now, I'm not sure about the glider. I don't see the glider here, so we're going to see if that changes as well. Now, of note, if you don't have 84 epic quests completed and you missed my most recent video about Superman, they're actually lowering the requirements all the way down to 50. So this change won't come into effect until the next update, but if you're nowhere near 84 epic quests completed, but you do have more than 50, then you're good to go. Or if you're very close to 50, just grind up to that number and you'll get all the accessories, all the shadow versions, at 50. How crazy is that? All right, so as you can see, you now have multiple styles here once you unlock the shadow version, so you can kind of mix and match if you want. For example, if I go to Superman and I have the red cape on and then do shadow, doesn't that look sweet? The red and black and white actually goes quite nice together. So that's always a plus. And of course you get Clark Kent where you can turn him shadow as well. And in my opinion, it's a lot better because his eyes change into the creepy shadow ones but he just gets a lot darker. You can see his tie changes as well. We'll start with Shadow Clark Kent, and obviously he can't wear the cape. So we're gonna check out the Daily Planet back bling, which also, of course, can change. And then we're gonna change the Solitude Striker into the Shadow one as well. Now it looks like it does automatically convert his glider into the Shadow version, so that's good. How about this? Will this automatically change him? It will, sweet. That's awesome. And we've got a wrap that actually matches them. There's tons of shadow wraps you can pick from. So let's hop into a match and we'll check this out. All right, so here we go. Let's check out the new and improved glider. Obviously, even if you're wearing the Daily Planet back bling, it transforms it into the cape, which is cool because it doesn't do that when you use the built-in emote to transform into Superman. You'll still have the Daily Planet back bling, which is weird. Pretty sweet there. So you'll see the awesome black contrail now. That's way, way wicked. Super evil. Look at that. It's like a stream of ink coming out. And of course, you've got that super unique animation when you actually dive. Watch this. He plunges his fist forward. Ah, oh, but that takes away the cape. That's a... I forgot about that. The underside of his shoes are that shadow effect as well. Same for the Superman logo. Cool. And of course, as soon as you land, it instantly transforms you back into Clark Kent if that's who you picked. So, there's not much to say about this skin. You can see the Daily Planet back bling is still animated. It still swirls around. It looks a lot better in black and gray, in my opinion. But as for the skin, he looks just like maybe an agent. That's the best way to describe it. Now, when you aim down sights, I thought you'd be able to see the white glow in his eyes, but I don't see anything there. It's almost like his eyes aren't glowing white. I'm trying to get an angle on his eyeball, but eh, let's spin him around and see. That's just strange that we can't see that. Okay, so I saw it briefly there. Let's go to Tippy Tap real quick so we can see it better. Oh yeah, they're white as a White Walker. I guess White Walker's eyes are blue, aren't they? Huh. Well, for some reason you can't see it when you aim down sights. It's almost like they convert back to normal. Strange. Now the pickaxe, I really don't notice much of a difference. The contrail is still a grayish white. And obviously the sound is still the same. It doesn't really turn black. It turns this mysterious gray. Let me go in the shadow here. I know it's nighttime, but yeah, it's just really not that noticeable from the original one. Let's go to my favorite smashing wall here. Okay, I don't remember that being white. I mean, that's definitely a splash effect. We'll have to see in the locker. It's a little disappointing. I kind of wanted the pickaxe to be jet black. That would have been awesome but unfortunately they went with gray. So I wasn't a big fan of Clark Kent to begin with, so there's not really much else to say. He more so looks like an FBI agent now as opposed to a newspaper worker. Let's do secret identity, and I'll show you that the backling still remains. Yeah, so I'm not a big fan of Superman with this backling. I much prefer the cape, obviously. It's just way too bulky on him, and uh, it almost looks like he's wearing underwear when you don't have the cape on. So, not a fan of this style with that back bling. But boy, does he look sick. I mean, I love the Superman colors, red and blue and gold, 
but this shadow version is just, I love it. I don't know how to express it, but I love the shadow wraps and the shadow color schemes in this game. Of course, well, Pickaxe looks a little better with this version. Of course, any wrap that shadow should work pretty good. All right, so let's go to the real Superman now. Enough of Clark Kent, and then you can revert back if you want. And you're back to the shadow FBI agent, Clark Kent. All right, so here's the shadow version of the cape. Obviously, with Clark Kent, you can't see the cape at all. You have to be the actual Superman or another skin. Any skin can wear it. It's just Clark Kent can't, as you can see. Any skin can actually equip it. And like I said, you could mix and match if you prefer the red and blue cape. You can totally do that. Or the red and blue Superman with the evil cape. So to each their own. But it's a nice mix and match that actually suits him quite well. But of course, we're going to go with shadow everything just to make it work. So I said we're going to look at the pickaxe splash effects. So let's see if they actually change. Yeah, so it's a bluish teal color on the first one. And then for this one, it's a whitish. I guess there is black mixed in there. I just couldn't see it in game. So like I said, a little disappointing on the change. I would have preferred this to be jet black, but that's okay. Now, as I mentioned, the glider automatically converts to the shadow version when you pick him, as does the secret identity built-in emote. Awesome. So let's go in game and we'll check this out for the final review. All right, so that looks a lot better. Look at this. Now when we plunge down, we don't lose the cape, which is good. Obviously the same animation. You get a little bit of whitish glow when he spins around right there. Boom, it kind of flashes for a second. And then he casually glides with his inky black aura spitting out behind him. Way cool. Let me know in the comments right now, which do you prefer? The normal Superman or the shadow one? I'm very curious. Like I said, the original color scheme is fantastic, but I love shadow things in this game. I guess maybe if this was jet black, it wouldn't look as good because it definitely matches. Nice splash effect with that white kind of contrast with the black. I enjoy that. Nothing is secretly reactive about this from what I could tell. The cape has good physics, as you can see. I don't think anything happens with damage, but let's just take a peek. Nope. And nothing should happen with getting eliminations either. Although it would be cool if his logo on the back kind of flashed or grew a bit brighter. That's one reactive feature I would have enjoyed, but it doesn't really fit the Superman model, unfortunately. Yeah, he has the shadow eyes as well. I'll do tippy tap in just a second. I don't know. I'm just a fan of this black and gray, black and white. It just looks so clean. Obviously, you stand out a little bit in the dark. You can see the underside of his shoes are also whitely lit. And then the contrail. Looks pretty good. Just an all-around great looking skin. Here's Tippy Tap so you can see his creepy eyes better. Nice. And then of course the secret identity, you lose the cape with Clark Kent. But obviously it is possible to switch back and forth. And then of course when you go back, you do get the cape. Which is why I prefer it over the Daily Planet backplate. Pretty sweet. So there you go, that's Shadow Superman in all his shadow glory. In my opinion, personal opinion, I should add, it's better than the original Superman, but they're both great skins. One of the best secret Battle Pass skins we've ever had. I guess they're really not secret anymore because they announced them at the start of the season, but it's still considered the secret skin. I enjoy it, and hopefully you guys do as well. So there you go. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.